H G G Heart H A R T E. Hey guys, it's Judy Heart H A R T E. Back with another video, and I am so so sorry that I haven't posted in two weeks. But the reason I haven't posted in two weeks is because I've been working on this YouTube video that I hope you guys enjoy. That will be coming up soon, and I've also been focused on my vlog channel. So if you haven't checked out my vlog channel, go check it out because yeah, it's awesome. I vlog every weekend, and I don't want to make this are too long but I'm sorry if it's long and so today I will be making a smoothie for you guys I know that I just uploaded a um Valentine's times well two weeks ago I just uploaded a Valentine's times treat and that was like a how to but I'm sorry I wanted to get up a video for you guys just because I haven't posted in two weeks so yeah and I have lots of YouTube videos ideas in my head I just haven't got to film them yet and this is one of them so I will show you how to make this delicious smoothie and so why don't we just get started ready do you guys like this effect comment down below if you get ready one two three so this is the ingredients you will need you will need some fruit I recommend frozen fruit if you don't use frozen fruit then you will need ice You're then just going to use like a sweetener or something that makes your smoothie sweet. Um, you don't have to use it. It'd actually be a lot healthier without it. But I'm using a strawberry mix. So if you want to use it, it'll make it taste a lot better. But you don't have to use it. I am then using low-fat yogurt. Um... It's in this container because my brother broke the container that it actually comes in, so we had to transfer it. And of course, you're going to need a blender and some honey and some milk. I am using whole milk. You don't need to use whole milk. You can use any kind of milk as long as it's milk. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is add your frozen fruit. I just have a variety pack and it comes with a whole bunch of fruit already mixed in. And you're just going to put that in there. So yeah. Next, I'm going to take my milk and I'm going to pour it in, like so. You don't need a whole lot of milk, just because you don't want your smoothie to be so thick. So, yeah. And then you're going to take your spoon and you're going to put a spoonful of yogurt in over top of the fruit. I don't have an exact measurement. It's just like a spoonful, so I'm sorry that I don't have an exact measurement, but yeah. Now you're going to blend it up and get the fruit and make sure it's all blended up. Now you're going to add your sweetener, or whatever you want to call it, the thing that makes your smoothie sweet. Of course, if you don't want to put anything sweet in there, you want to make it healthy, then you don't have to add this part. And then also you're going to take your honey and put that in as well. And then, once again, blend it up. Okay, so this is where you're just going to play around with your smoothie and use your eyesight as measuring tools and your feeling and your taste buds. So, I decided that I was going to taste it first and so I decided that I was going to add some more fruit just because I thought it needed more fruit and more flavor. And I added a little bit more of my strawberry mix to make it sweeter. And I added a little 
tad bit of yogurt, like not even a spoonful, like a little pinch. So then I just blended it up more to get all those little pieces of seeds and fruit and chunks and get them really small and just to blend all my flavors together. Now I'm just pouring it in my cup because I just think it's enough and it's good enough. I'm sorry that you can't really see that part, but yeah, it's kind of blocking the camera. But yeah, and now it's time to devour. So, hey guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. And I would also like to say, if you didn't see my Valentine's video, go check that out. Um, because I mentioned that I have a vlog channel and because I made it to 150 subscribers. So if you haven't go check if you haven't subscribed to my vlog ch channel, link will be down in the description. And I'd also like to say that on my vlogging channel, I know I only post on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, but on March 11th, I am dancing at the 76ers, so I will be dance. So I will be dancing, dancing. So I will be vlogging. So yeah, to go check it out, my vlogging channel out because there's lots of fun things that are coming up, like lots of traveling, dance competitions, um, the 76ers, and. All that kind of shenanigans, shenanigans. I can't even say that. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye!